Especially app by App System LLC. Today we're going to discuss our apps called the School Apps. Here's an example of a mock-up that we did on a school, high school here in Tampa, Florida called Sickles High School. Why a school app? Features like a student parent handbook, bus schedules, a calendar with school event information and more. All of these things keep parents, students, and educators connected 24-7 with everything they need at their fingertips. Gone are the days of parents calling school offices or visiting campus when they have a question. They just visit the school's website. But when they're on the go, what's the best way for them to remember about those late arrivals and early dismissal days? They need an app. One very important feature of the app is the push notification system. This is how the school board, the faculty and staff, students and parents all stay in communication. Now here's an example of a couple of these push notifications. Here's one that we just put out there. It says, students and parents, Monday is early release day. School lets out one hour early. Have a great week. So this would go out, say, Monday morning or even on Sunday that could be sent out. Here's another one. Our Sickles sponsors make the Sickles High School app possible. Our sponsors have placed coupons within the last few tabs of the app. Some also allow a discount for just showing the app on your phone. Support our sponsors. Here's another one. Progress report cards come out this Thursday. Now that's a great thing for parents. They'd want to see that one. Here's another one. This would be for at the end of school day, right before students leave. Maybe there was an accident down the street. Use extra caution when leaving school today. There's an accident on Gun Highway, one half mile north of South Mobley. Traffic reduced to one lane. Remember, no texting while driving and always wear your seatbelt. Now these are just a few ways that the push notification can be used. It can be used for many other features and you'll understand that and you'll apply that to your school as it's needed. Now let's just go through the, some of these tabs here so you can just get a, an idea on how that works. Let's look at the first one, events. Now you can just put a list of events here. And we can actually take events that you, that you may have pretty well scheduled on your calendar and we could go ahead and just list those ahead of time and then they would show up when that event needs to be put on there. It just automatically will show up. But we can go ahead and schedule a month at a time if you like. And these would be the events of, of your choosing that the uh, school would choose to put put out there on these. Let's look at it would be our sponsors or your sponsors. Now these sponsors are wanting to have a, this becomes a really a powerful marketing tool for them. Gone are those kind of days of selling the candy bar or getting them to sign up for a paper or something. Here's a really valuable tool to that business and it will make that business more of a volunteer sponsor for you. They'll come in and they'll put an ad on here for you. And let's just kind of show you how this works for the sponsors. Now let's look at this tab here. We have public at, at the shops at Citrus Park. Now actually I went over and talked to this uh, manager of this store and he was really excited about this. And he gave me the information that we, that's needed to, to have them sponsored. So let's just open that tab now. Click on that tab for the publics. It, it comes in here and you'll see these different pages here. And we generally allow it to about five pages per advertiser on our specialty apps, which is a great little mini app. So let's just kind of open up one of these tabs. Let's open up the store information. So if somebody wanted to get in, in touch with any of these departments, all they would have to do is tap on, on the button. For instance, call the main number here. They would just tap on that and the keypad will pop up on their phone and, and then it's just ready to, to do a one-touch calling and they would call that that department or that store whatever the case may be. Or the phone number could just put there. It all depends on how that individual sponsor wants to do it. Also as you move down the page you'll see things like store hours and the pharmacy hours and as you move on down you'll see other things like store departments. These pages can go quite quite some distance of you know however much information they really want on there. One thing you got to remember is that the one touch calling which is very important people don't have to put a phone number in or go to their contacts or anything else. Another thing is one touch email. Videos vi videos are very powerful in, in new technology today and as uh, marketing it's very powerful. It's very important to understand how powerful of a marketing tool this is for your sponsors. When you move across the screen now we're able to put up to five images on that screen. So here's an image as we're going from one screen to another screen. You see here you can see all the tabs at the bottom still but you can see how that looks where you can see those different images coming up. 
Okay, let's go on. Let's look at the message tab. The message tab is very important. Those are those messages that you saw, those push notification messages. Now, I've only sent two of them out just so we can see them on the display here. And whatever the last message is that was sent is always on top. Now these messages can stay on here for the whole school year if you like. You don't, you know, you can just replace them at the end of each school year. Anytime somebody wants to go back and look at a message, they could. This, what's also good about this is when people are driving. Naturally, you don't want them to be playing with their phone, looking at their phone. So you know they can open that message at a later time and they would see it on here. And so this is very important. It's you know for the parents also easier. Okay, as we move on, let's, let's go ahead and open up one of these tabs. Let's open up the Falcon staff. You see here the administration, guidance, career, and technology. We're showing all these. And this list can go on and on. So if there's anything past science, it would be down there on that list. And then as you open that, let's, let's, we'll go, and go ahead and open up the administration tab here. Tap on it, and you'll see, like here, you'll see Jack Russell, principal. And then also, if and, and this is what's done generally in business now, uh, you know, instead of people having a direct phone line showing, they, what they do, they just have an email because a lot of people like to communicate through email. And so here it is, somebody would just have to tap on the principal email address and it would pop open their email on their phone or what, if they had a tablet or whatever the case may be. And they would just tap on that and it just prepares it to be sent from them and going to Jack Russell's uh, email address. So it's it, it's just convenient. It's just a really easy way for people to communicate. So we move back. We go back into the more tab. We'll just run down some of these tabs. The around us tab. That's a and that's a tab that can be used to. Uh, maybe there's a lot of people may not know where the school is, and so that would just leave them. You know, you could put maybe everybody knows where the Publix is up there. So you could put Publix around us, Publix, and then people would know the Publix, and then could could find that or oh, there's a movie theater or, or 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 whatever that's in that area that would you know people would relate to being in the area okay now let's go on there's things like comments and one thing with comments uh, those can be uh, it, it's not like on websites when you see websites out there and people put some nasty stuff on there that you may not want on there you only want good comments you don't want anything that's vulgar or anything else out there and we can easily remove those through the app Okay, another tabs on here is Facebook. It just happens that this high school happens to have a Facebook page out there, and this can be left on there, so people can communicate through that if the school chooses to. Now, any of these tabs can be altered or changed. It doesn't have to be a, a Facebook page on here that can be taken off. It doesn't have to be a comment. You know, as time went on, if, if those weren't working out right, they can be removed. Another thing would be email folder, and that just gets people, the the students, and maybe even the parents, and the Falcon staff to. Uh, kind of work with the app you know they send in photo maybe the school might have a, a photo of the week a photo of the month where people send in photos and then that gets put on the Facebook page or or just be sent out there so everybody can see this th this photo so it's those are just things to get people to use the app lesson notes this is a pretty unique little tab this is actually just a voice recorder so if somebody's sitting which would be great for if, if you're a student or even a teacher you can send yourself a reminder or anybody can do it you can just use that that as to send yourself a reminder uh, for instance a student could be using a reminder of what their lessons are for the night their their homework assignments and leave a message for themselves location that's just a tab to show the location it has an, another little around us type of setup in there also displays the website the school website in this case or in the email address Another one, now I'll, I'll kind of pop this one, is, is the newsletter. Now, if the school had a newsletter, this is just a way that people could join the newsletter through the app. And another purpose of showing you this, this is a form. Now, forms can be used, or if somebody, say you have one of your, your clubs out there, and people, your school clubs, you want to set it up to where people can join it, they can actually go and, and fill out the form right here online. And it's for other things also, uh, extra assignments and whatever the case may be, we could put that into play for you, uh, working with forms. And then as you move on down the list, there's galleries, there's YouTube, and there's much, much more that can be added. There can be sports tab tabs added and just all types of information tabs that can be added. It's what the school benefits from, what's what's the best for the school to be using. And that's up to each individual school how they want that to work. All right, the school app becomes a valuable tool for the students, their parents, and the school faculty and staff. School sponsors are receiving a valuable business marketing tool with the app they will be able to use year after year. 
this is this is great for the sponsors because each year there's a new generation of, of students coming in it means more parents and also a lot of parents and their, their younger children are growing up and, and coming in to the school grandparents are having their their grandchildren go to the school so it becomes a really valuable marketing tool for the business owner so that's why business owners will be excited about joining your school app and it's it's volunteer you know they're actually bringing in revenue which the school benefits from this revenue also there's our monthly fees that are paid and because these have a, a monthly maintenance fee and each individual sponsor would be paying that and so the school would also benefit from that because they would receive residual income each month from those monthly payments future generations will be able to benefit from the school app which I just mentioned that it's really great and then also when people leave high school uh, people you know the, the, those are generally the best years of somebody going from teenage age up to going to adulthood they're they're when they're graduating from school they're they're young adults and so what happens they'll keep these apps on their phone and their parents will keep these apps on their phone because well the students want to remember those high school years and it kind of keeps them up to date with it which is great for the sponsors because these apps are still kept on those former students phones the parents the grandparents or whatever the case may be and it's, it's just wonderful for the sponsors also also for the school because now a lot of these people are growing up and they'll still benefit the school by donating money or whatever the case may be for that school the school app will also help raise revenue to fund multiple school needs like you could send that push notification out hey, there's a car whatever clubs having a car wash this weekend in the location and then you can actually send them to a page inside the app to where they can find more information out about that and then this way everybody who has that app downloaded and as time goes on year after year more and more people will have this app downloaded the school app and they'll get that information it's just a, a way to raise money also the app would be if you have certain school items that you want to be sold maybe school supplies uniforms or whatever the case may be those can be sold right through the app to where they're even purchased right through the app which creates revenue for the school other school apps will be available that will just change the relationship between students parents and teachers in achieving one common goal higher education now what I mean by that not just sports app and, and maybe music type of app or something like that and then sponsors can be found for those also which brings in more revenue but also let's take the English department the mathematics department you know all those teachers can get together and they can do one or two things they, they can either bring sponsors in to sponsor this app or since there's so many of them like say if there's 15 in the English department te teachers in, in that department they could actually just buy the app and then each one of them would be listed in there and then when these apps are set up they're actually set up a little bit different when we do these it's going to be set up to where the teacher can actually go into that app so every day they could list their homework assignments they can list activity they can list things that they that the students may just need could be references some type of resource that they could go to to look up and then also during the breaks like the spring break the winter break even the summer break that you can send information out for students to look forward to for next year or during that break what's going to happen when they come back it's just you know, it all works basically like the, the normal app would work but those are other apps that we can talk about later so the future is here take that leap into the future of the technology world give your present and future students parents and faculty and staff the tool of the future today help your business community grow by allowing them the opportunity to, to sponsor your school and giving them the use of the most powerful marketing tool ever invented the app get in touch with us app system LLC